Hello family, all palm nut soup lovers, let's gather here. Let's prepare our palm nut soup base with a sanka and then tepur. Let's go. We will need our palm nuts and then our asanka and then tepur. After washing my palm nuts, I put it in a saucepan and then I'm going to cook it for about 10 minutes. Just test it, well test it to see by removing one of the nuts and then pressing it to see if the flesh is soft, then it is ready. Let's remove it from the fire and then let's go to the process. Our Asanka interpol is washed, so we are coming to what? Grind it in it to get the palm nut base from it. So let's do it. I fetch some of the palm nuts, cooked palm nuts into the asanka and then I press it using the tuple or the mixer. It be uh, bought from any African market and it is available in our kitchen. So without any stress, you can use this one to prepare your palm nuts base, palm nut soup base. And then your palm nuts soup is easy to prepare. Press it. Press it. It helps you to remove the flesh from the kennel, from the palm nut kennel. And that's is what we are going to use to extract our palm nut soup base from it. Fetch it into my bowl so that I can do another batch. And batch is also going into it. I'm going to do the same process as I did the first batch. I'm going to press it with the mixer or the tuple. You see that it is removing the flesh of the palm nuts from the kernel. With this one, I'm going to fetch it and add it to the previous batch. Let's now add water to the palm nuts. We add water and then press it with our hand in order to squeeze all the, uh, the the liquid which contains the palm nuts soup base and then even the oil from it. I'm now removing the fiber and then I want to re what press it again to extract more from it. So I will return it back into the Asanka and press it again with the temple or the mixture we need to get the excess excess uh, palm nuts soup base inside it i want to extract everything i don't want to leave anything inside so that's why train the liquid in order to get the palm kernels from it i don't need it so I only need the base. I only need the uh, liquid part of it. So I strain it. I press it like the way I did the first one. Transfer it into my bowl and then add 
water again to loosen it and then extract the liquid from it again this is it so it is now okay and ready this is my palm nut soup base ha charlie this is the easiest way try this without stressing yourself soup base is ready for your favorite palm nut soup or you can keep it in the freezer for later use thanks for watching please just hit the subscription bar for more videos god bless you